Hi everyone, my name is Philip, and this is another video for Philip's take on DDS CAD. In this video, I will show you the basic steps to perform a cable calculation based on an IC6364 with and without a drawn cable. Before viewing the video, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to be notified of new videos. Enjoy! In the room office number two, I have drawn the cable to connect to these three sockets creating the circuit number seven. In the distribution board circuit list, we see the, in a connected column, the indication in yellow, meaning the cable is correctly connected from the board to the objects. However, we see in the length and in the cable calculation columns, the values highlighted in red, meaning these values exceeds the limits. If we double click the cable calculation for the circuit seven, we see that the selected cross section of 2.5 square millimeters also indicated here on the right. Uh, and we also see the calculated cross section of 4 square millimeters also indicated in the distribution board circuit list. And we have these uh, results from the voltage drop. We see that DDS CAD calculates the cross section. Uh, from the voltage drop of 2.7 square millimeters. Since this uh, value is not available as a cable size, DDS CAD gets the higher available cable size of 4 square millimeters. If we click OK, DDS CAD will automatically resize the cable and update the voltage drop. But we don't have to actually draw the cable to perform a cable calculation. How is it possible? Let's see. I will select these three sockets in the room office number one and access their properties. In the tab connected, I will connect these three sockets to the distribution board 02 and to the circuit number 8. Now, in the connected column, we see the indication in yellow here, meaning these objects are connected to the circuit, but without a cable. How could we then calculate the cable? We would have to come to the length column and manually insert the cable length. And I will insert this length is likely below the limit for the voltage loss indicated by 30.2 meters and I will directly click in the calculation button. We see that DDS CAD will fix the value uh, that the fixed, fixed value will be used in a calculation and we see that all the values here are within the calculated results. What else we could do for this calculation? In the tab cable installation input, we see here the installation type. And in DDS CAD 14, we could also use the installation type as in ground and insert the thermal resistance. And of course, we can generate reports for a complete setup distribution board. To do so, we go to the distribution board function and we click on the reports button. In the report cable calculation, each page show the results for each circuit, including the protection device, the installation type, and the cable calculation results, including the selected dimension. The cable routing list report shows the circuit number, the cable number, type, and length, the distribution board, the circuit location, and the circuit description. And at last but not least, in the circuit list extended, we have a complete overview of the distribution board circuit list, including information of the circuit, protection device, cable, voltage drop, load, and the phase distribution. If you like this video, share it. If you have any questions or suggestions, Put a comment below and I'll get back to you. Cheers!